unlike its predecessor, The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt doesn't exactly come screaming off the starting line in sixth gear. Compared to The Witcher 2, where you're immediately plunged headlong into a sexy story of intrigue and betrayal, Witcher 3's main quest can seem mundane, even perfunctory at times. But the moment I'd step off to blaze my own trail, it turned into a wild, open, exhilarating fantasy role-playing experience with many opportunities to make use of its excellent combat. Even after over 100 hours with it, there's still so much more to do, learn, and hunt in The Witcher 3. Much like The Witcher 2 before it, The Witcher 3 is dense and deep in terms of RPG mechanics, and the overwhelmingly massive open world environment has only made that depth more intimidating at first and more rewarding in the long run. It's difficult to express, even with video, just how huge and open this world is. Landscapes like these make it one of the most authentic feeling open worlds I've ever seen. A handy minimap points you where you want to go, which might seem like a crutch at first, but honestly without it, I'd have been hopelessly lost. That the world still feels so purposeful and full of things to do despite its size is quite an achievement. Relative to The Witcher 2, I found that Witcher 3's RPG systems had been streamlined in some smart ways and made more complex in others. Simplifications to how you restock and use potions and oils makes them feel more practical and immediately useful, while the new skill system provides a good deal of flexibility while still rewarding players who want to min-max for the best builds. All of this shines through in the responsive real-time combat, where everything comes together with greatly improved magic play to make Geralt feel like more of a badass than ever before. <laughs> Spells have new alternate casting modes and a wider variety of upgrades, making them impactful in every fight. The one caveat on all that, though, is the technical performance on the PS4 version I played for review. Though it never seriously impacted the gameplay, 30 frames per second was sometimes too much to ask. Looking for a woman. Ugh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Our tale begins as a multi-continent search for Geralt's long-lost lover Yennefer and Ciri, his surrogate daughter. My single biggest issue with The Witcher 3 is that it never becomes much more. The overly long main story is essentially just Geralt running errands for people in exchange for information on their whereabouts. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. Thanks to lots of excellent writing and voice acting, there's still some big emotional payoff, but overall, the main story feels padded out by too many meaningless fetch quests and collectathons. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! Without the context provided by the Witcher novels, Ciri is more or less a complete stranger until the last quarter of the journey, which makes it difficult to care about finding her as much as The Witcher 3 wants me to, especially given the slew of intriguing characters playing supporting roles. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. But you'll get plenty more of them once you venture off the beaten path, and that's where The Witcher 3 gets nearly everything incredibly right. Aside from the bevy of standard side quests, monster layers, and bandit camps you expect from a sprawling open world fantasy game, The Witcher 3's character focused optional quest lines and monster hunting contracts are so meaty and full of rich story content that they feel like they should have been part of the main story. More often than not, they provide interesting insights into a land being destroyed by war and the many fascinating characters who play a role in shaping it. Best of all, you're one of them. It may not shift the main story's conclusion in monumental ways, but I often return to places I'd visited earlier to find that a seemingly small decision played out in a very big way. The choices you make legitimately change the world around you, far more so than most games that make similar claims. Though the straightforward and fetch quest heavy main story overstays its welcome, the option of joyfully adventuring through a rich, expansive open world was always there for me when I'd start to burn out. Even if the plot isn't terribly interesting, the many characters who play a part in it are, and along with the excellent combat and RPG gameplay, they elevate The Witcher 3 to a plane few other RPGs inhabit. For more on The Witcher, keep it on IGN. Get away!